The information in this video is life-saving. We're going to learn all about naloxone, the medication that when given during an overdose from pain pills or heroin can reverse that overdose and save a life. So naloxone is the new medicines that um, like EMS is carrying and police officers mm -hmm. are carrying and mm -hmm. firemen are carrying mm -hmm. and you give it to people when they're um, having an overdose of pain pills, heroin, any kind of opiate. Is that right? right? That's exactly right. Okay. Yes. yes. Can you tell us about that? What it is? Why do they give it to people when they're overdosing? Kind of what happens? So um, during an overdose, you, you of course have too much of the opioid or heroin in your system and the the wonderful thing about naloxone is it does bind to the opioid receptors to reverse that. Okay. Um, there's no too much to give. So infant, child, adult, same dosage. So you can't okay. give too much naloxone for an opioid overdose. The way I think about it, this might be silly, you can tell me if I'm wrong, but in my brain, I imagine it like there's, if you give it to someone, it's like these little corks, like you put in a wine bottle, and it goes into the receptor sites in the brain and plugs it all up. Yes. So yes. it can't absorb any exactly. more Is exactly. that right? Yes. Oh, that's kind yes. of and it will reverse it. Yes. Okay. So it stops from absorbing more and more and more. Mm -hmm. Because what yeah. happens in an overdose? So in overdose, basically you just, your, your respiration stop. They, they slowly... You know, it gets slower and slower, mm -hmm. and then it stops. And then it stops. Mm -hmm. And so if someone's in overdose, you give them this. Yes. It stops that process. Yes. yes. Okay. Does it put someone into withdrawal to give them this medicine? You can, yes. You can have nausea. Um, your heart rate will increase. You can experience mild withdrawal symptoms, but it's not dangerous. Okay. Mm -hmm. This client, I, or not, he's actually not a client, this friend of mine, I did his story not long ago, and he was talking about, this was a years ago, he had overdosed, he ended up in the emergency room, his mom was there, and the doctor said, this is going to be ugly, mm -hmm. but we have to do this, and they gave him right. and so he like hawked out. Yes. Do people hawk out? I just want <laughs> families can. to know, like, yeah, be prepared can. what could happen. They can, but it's not dangerous. Right, okay. It's not dangerous. It's, it's not fun, and it's not pretty all the time, but your family member or your loved one is going to be alive. So. Okay. So when when he says Hulk out or when you say it's not pretty, what does that really look like? Just because I want people to know, like, this is what's supposed to happen and it's okay. Oh, nausea, vomiting, um, maybe like panic feeling with your heart rate. Okay. So, it, it yeah, it's it doesn't feel good. Is it like... On Pulp Fiction, when they put that needle <laughs> right in her heart, have you seen that? Is it crazy <laughs> like that? No, okay. that not that dramatic. No, okay, no, and and you you may or may not experience the withdrawal symptoms, but it can happen. Okay, I got you. Yeah, okay, but it's not pretty, but it saves a life, so it, it doesn't does. matter. It does. It does not matter. It does not matter. Vomit, do whatever you want to do. You do Freak whatever out, it takes, but you're gonna live. Yeah. That's right, and that's yeah. what's important. Okay. Exactly. And so, when it first came out, it was in an injectable, mm -hmm. and you can still get it that way. Is that yes? Right? It is an injection. Similar to like an EpiPen, where it's just an auto, it's a pre-filled pen, mm -hmm. you just pop the top, um, basically cock it, and use it. Right. You mm -hmm. don't have to have any skill or No, anything no like skill that. at all. Nope. But now they also have it in a nasal spray. In a nasal spray, exactly. Okay. Yes, and I have the nasal spray with all right. Me right here. Um, it comes in a box of two, which is nice because, you know, sometimes you're going to need more than one before EMS comes. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell me about that. How yeah. would you know? Like if you did one and it didn't work, you would do another one? Right. Okay. So you would use one nostril, wait okay. two to three minutes. If their breathing is still slow, if they have not regained consciousness, then you do the other one in the other nostril. Okay. So yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. So, when you, so you get this and you're going to make sure it's in date. Okay. Um, and there's a flap that you can open. Okay. So in an emergency, mm -hmm. you have this to show you exactly what to do. To remind you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so then you take it out, and does it just squirt like a nasal spray would? Like it I does. Would it, okay. it squirts. I'm going to take it out. Um, it's in here. You're just going to put it in put there your just fingers like you on there and get, get it to where your fingers are hitting the patient's nostril. Okay. And squirt. Get, all, get up yep. in there. Get up in there. You're gonna, okay. You're going to put them on their back if you do suspect an overdose. Um, just... Put them on the floor, flat on their back. Put your your hand up under their neck. Uh -huh. Tilt the head back, and then squirt. Okay. 
would and it, then you call nine one one. You definitely always call nine one one. If you're gonna use if you use this, call nine one one because definitely. two may not be enough depending on the overdose. Okay. Yeah. Would it hurt someone if that wasn't what was happening to them and you thought it wasn't gonna It's to not gonna no, it's not. Okay. It's not. So you're not gonna go wrong. You're not gonna go wrong. Okay. Again, if you have a two year old that has gotten into to maybe some previous surgery meds or dental procedure meds got into the cabinet somehow yeah okay you were yes. scared you do it yeah okay mm -hmm. and how do you get it so you go to your pharmacy well in south carolina pharmacists now can dispense this without a prescription okay so you go to your pharmacy and just request it it can bill it to your insurance and the co-pays vary from zero up Okay. Um, the the retail is I guess around 140, 150 depending on the pharmacy if you just pay cash for it. Okay. Um, it's for two doses, but with insurance it will pay. Okay. So it'll pay some. Okay. Maybe what's not the, all. But. Is there like an average copay or what's on the high end just so people know what to expect? Um, the high end that I've seen is about sixty dollars. Okay. But it's sixty dollars to save someone. Save so. someone's life. Yeah, yeah. Does it go out of date quickly? Like if you it's, had it at your house for a couple of years, would it be okay? So this we just got, and it expires April twenty twenty. Okay. So you're good. So yeah. it lasts a long yeah, time. Yeah, quite good. a long time. Yeah, year and a half. Okay. Two years. Who do yeah. you recommend have this on hand? Like who should have this stuff? Um, anyone, if you take opioids, mm -hmm. um, for for whatever pain you have, pain management. This is a good idea to have around just for accidental overdoses. Okay. It doesn't mean, if you have this, it does not mean you're addicted. Right. Or that you're, whatever perception you may have, just forget about it. it this is just safety. It's really good just to have on your emergency, first mm -hmm. aid, home kit. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. If, yeah, if you take opioids or if someone in your house or someone you love does have a problem with opioids. Okay. This could save them. To have it on hand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so you were telling me earlier, it's not over the counter. It is prescription, but the pharmacy you go to, the pharmacist yes. can, yes. can, do the can prescription dispense it. For we you. do have um, prescriptive authority for Narcan. Okay. Mm -hmm. And are you guys. Um, are people getting this stuff from you guys? Are you selling a lot of it? We are. are. We're, selling, it? we're selling some um, to people that are on opioids for, for some chronic pain issues they have, or maybe they're taking opioids and also taking a benzodiazepine, like Xanax, mm -hmm. Valium, like that, something like that, that will, um, benzodiazepines kind of enhance an opioid. Mm -hmm. So you are more likely to overdose right. if you take those together. So this is just good to have. Extra And to show your spouse or, or someone in your house, hey, if I ever... And not responsive. Mm -hmm. If my breathing is slow, if I have pinpoint pupils, mm -hmm. so it look. I mean, you, it looks like what you'd think if someone stopped breathing, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if someone were having a heart attack, but you thought it was that, you're not going to hurt them. Not going to hurt them. Okay. No. What did I not ask you, Dan? That I should have asked you. That people. And if if you have someone that you care about that mm -hmm. abuses opioids, is addicted to opioids, or just someone that takes them responsibly, mm -hmm. this is good to have. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for South Carolina. I'm a pharmacist at Sadler Hughes Apothecary. Gotcha. In the in the snow, there's snow outside. Yes, Came all yes, the way there's down snow here. out there. I <laughs> came here, so yes, and we do stock this. So okay. If you're in the Clinton area, you can come go see, by. You can if go not, see Jan. call your call your local pharmacy. Tons more information on all things addiction and recovery and lots of free expert advice. Make sure and subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss a thing.